Since there seems to be a lot of not too good drama going on in the HBH community, I decided to make a recap video. Okay, no let's go. What you know about rolling down in the deep when your brain goes numb? You can call that mental freeze when these people talk What you know about shit rolling down, down in the deep when your brain goes numb? We've got the Skeet and Never Lose Crack, a VAC wave, a big update for cheaters and MM, BHAP exposing a Skeet secret and getting banned, and more. Also, if you like these types of videos, let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget to subscribe. Only about half of you are actually subscribed that watch my videos. I do got a lot of things planned, so stay tuned and subscribe. First things first, the biggest news, Skeet.cc and Never Lose got cracked. Is it real? Is it fake? Can you download it? Where can you download it? Blah, blah, blah. Let's get the Never Lose one out of the way. It is indeed fake. It's extremely clear that it was fake. There's a lot of things wrong with the video. You can see he was using the loader through his processes, as well as it injected incredibly fast when it really shouldn't have. There was a lot of people who fell victim to this crack. They ended up downloading a DLL, which was clearly a rat, and then they got ratted. That's what rats do. This goes the same for the Skeet crack. There is no released public DLL. And even if there was a release DLL, I suggest not downloading it. There will be massive amounts of people trying to bait you into downloading a rat. As well as this whole entire situation is just incredibly sketch, and I just suggest never downloading a random ass DLL you find on the internet. But anyways, that's not to say that Never Lose won't get cracked. There's no such thing as an uncrackable cheat. As well as if Never Lose actually is claiming responsibility for the ski crack, you can kind of assume people are going to retaliate and try and crack Never Lose. So that brings me on to the skeet.cc crack. Is it real? Probably. Like I said earlier, nothing is uncrackable, so it's not like it's impossible. Give some unknown cheats kid some crack cocaine for a month and he could probably do some damage. Apparently the people that cracked skeet were a lot of the, the never lose admins as well as some people from unknown cheats. And they basically just tried cracking it for like a week long or however long it was. I'm pretty sure the reasoning for the crack was because a lot of Never Lose staff and Alpha, whatever you want to say, they got banned from a skeet and I guess they just wanted retaliation, which kind of seems cringe to me, but whatever. I had also heard that the Never Lose admins were trying to get into contact with Esoteric, maybe to work out a deal before they release the DLL or something like that. But back on whether the skeet crack is actually real, Esoteric would have probably made an announcement by now saying that it is fake or he thinks it's fake. There were some flaws in the crack, but it kind of can be explained. Everyone pointed out the font seems different, but if SO used a different font that had to be installed through the loader, then that's basically an easy explanation of why it's doing that. The only other strange thing I saw was in the video, he was actually resolving bots. I don't think Skeet does this, but I could be wrong. I've been banned for over a year. The only thing I will also say is that it's not really hard to make a Skeet replica. I mean, Unknown Cheats has been obsessed with Skeet and that every single feature they release seems to be like a Skeet clone. As well as some people have dedicated their lives to remaking the menu for some odd reason. It's also not impossible to make the Skeet configs work with a fake. But if someone were to spend all this time doing that, they're better off just learning how to reverse engineer and cracking the cheat themselves. I do, however, think that it, if it is real, it is kind of a dick move on Never Lose if it was done by their staff. I'm pretty sure Never Lose is just half reverse Skeet and one tap dumps. At least that's what I've heard from a lot of people. But that's basically just my take on the situation. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Now for the next bit of news, the new VAC wave, which really isn't a VAC wave. Basically, Overwatch finally works again. Behop made a very good video explaining the entire situation, but basically this new CSGO update changed the way MM works as well as Overwatch that seemed to be broken is now fixed. The update is good if you hate non-prime to win limit and you just want to rage for hours. You can kind of do that now. It didn't really affect cheaters in that big of a way and it really just helped out the legit players or the legit cheating scene. Overall, it seems like a good CSGO update. I will say I haven't been able to play the new MM myself, but I've heard from others. And the last thing I want to talk about is Behop's ban from Skeet. He got banned for saying something that I thought was very common knowledge that Skeet admins sell invites. It's been happening since Ambassador was admin and everyone back knew about it. It's technically not scamming since it's really just giving them an invite, but at the same time, it's not really worth anything over $20 a month. If you pay for any invite for that matter, it's kind of sad. You could probably ask any person that has bought an invite, they probably regret it. Now, I don't think Behop should have got banned for this, but I mean, who am I to say? I've been banned from Ski for over a year now. But that's kind of all I have for the moment. If you do like these types of videos, make sure you hit the like button. Let me know your thoughts on anything I said today, and I'll see you in the- What you know about rolling- <laughs>